What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Dying Scene Record Radar, presented by Punk Rock Radar. Sorry you missed me last week. I was in Orlando seeing No Effects and a bunch of other awesome bands. Uh, but we're back with another Record Radar. Missed a lot of stuff last week again. It seems like every time I have an off week, um, there's a ton of stuff announced. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to um, get on a different uh, schedule here. But um, we'll catch up on it. Uh, unfortunately, some of it, uh, the stuff sold out, but we'll talk about it. So up first, um, we got a Rancid with a reissue of Indestructible for its 20th anniversary. This is not my favorite Rancid album by far. Um, I do need it on vinyl, though, so maybe I'll get this. I don't know. I only know of one color variant for this. Uh, it's this red and black galaxy color. It is a double album, um, and uh, this variant I've seen everywhere, so I, I guess this is the indie variant. I'm not sure if they'll announce more, knowing Epitaph uh, with these Rancid reissues, most likely, uh, but right now this is the only one that I've seen anywhere. Alright, up next, this is one that sold out, um, of course, uh, before I could get to it. I did. I used to do uh, midweek, like, if there was a really notable release... I would do a record radar alert on Dying Scene um, where I would highlight that release because I know it's going to sell out before the weekend uh, when the column hits. Uh, this one, I didn't do it for some reason. I should have because uh, I'm sure I could have helped some people out and not miss out on it. I got it myself, though. I saw when it went up and I pre-ordered it. Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, Let's Face It. This is the first time this album has been in print in seven years. I missed out on it last time from Asbestos Records, so I had to get it this time. Uh, color variant looks awesome. Uh, this red and white splatter. They don't say how many copies there are. I assume it was probably pretty limited, like less than a thousand pieces. Because it sold out uh, within a day, I believe. So, this sold out. Hopefully they'll uh, press another variant for anyone who missed it. Um, but if not, uh, you'll probably be waiting a few more years before this is back in print. A bunch of Sum 41 stuff. Uh, all killer, no filler. Does this look infected? Um, their best of compilation album, all the good shit. All of those are, uh, getting reissues or represses. Uh, does this look infected was just repressed a year or two ago and I get, I got that from Canada. Um, but I needed all killer, so I picked that uh, uh, up, and the color variant looks cool. It's this uh, blue and black blob. Link in the description, dyingscene.com. We have the written version of the record radar with links to everything, uh, all the records where you can buy them. Okay, uh, first new release we're going to talk about this week after all the reissues, The Dwarves. Um, they have a new album coming out. It's called Concept Album. It's due out November 3rd. Um, by the time you're watching this, it is probably sold out. Uh, as I was writing the record radar today, I noticed they were down to like four copies of the album. Uh, and there was a bunch of like cover variants and, uh, you know, all types of stuff, all different variants on their store um, that also sold out. So this is probably going to be sold out. I'm sure there will be a second pressing very soon. Uh, the first single is streaming now. It's called We Will Dare. Um, so yeah, New Dwarves. I'm sure a lot of people will be excited about this. All right, back to reissues. Uh, Mill and Colin. Uh, Machine 15, 15th anniversary repress, reissue. Uh, this has been out of print since 2008, since its first pressing. So I'm sure a lot of people who are completionists will need this for their collection. I'm going to pass on it. I really don't like the record, um, but that's just me. There's three color, vari uh, color variants. There's... Silver, clear, and this blue uh, blue and clear mix color. Um, the silver one sold out. The blue is limited to 1,000, and the clear is limited to 300. Um, so links to all those in the description. Okay, this is the um, reissue of the year, I would say. Uh, Real Big Fish, Turn the Radio Off. I've been waiting for this for a while. This, like the Boss Tones one, this has been out of print for seven years. Uh, I missed out on the last reissue because it sold out really quick. Uh, this also sold out within, I want to say, an hour. 
yeah, there's five color variants. They all sold out within like an hour. Um, there was a beer color, thousand copies, uh, green splatter, 700, uh, the pink and yellow splatter split color, uh, 500 copies. That's the one I got. Uh, I want to say too, um, all these reissues that Enjoy the Ride Records is doing for these Real Big Fish records are top notch. The albums sound excellent. Um, they have a second disc with bonus songs, live tracks, demos, uh, other stuff like that. It's all sounds incredible. Uh, the packaging is excellent. They have these uh, really nice booklets uh, that they include. It's a 12 by 12 uh, booklet that has um, all kinds of liner notes and stuff that weren't included in the original release. Um, so yeah, this and the Candy Coated Fury they've done this year, I've been really happy with, uh, and I was glad I was able to get them before they sold out. Um, some more color variants, there's a clear and black, um, they call it two-tone checkerboard, that was limited to 300 copies, and then there was an alternative press magazine exclusive one, which is actually, I think, the coolest looking variant, um, that clear with the orange and green splatter but unfortunately that was like incredibly overpriced the, the rest of these were like 35 bucks that one was like 50 so i passed on that it sold out enough people wanted it uh they spent 50 dollars on a fucking record it is a double album though so is what it is anyway record sold out hopefully uh enjoy the ride records sees the demand for these reissues of these real big fish albums and keeps doing them and also um does some second pressings because there is demand for these and they will sell out every single time uh they go up for pre-order all right next up another new release and a reissue two for one uh bottles to the ground records the fat wreck imprint label uh they have a new 10 inch ep from doom scroll which is a folk punk band um and they also have a first ever vinyl reissue of the band's first album from 2021 uh the color variants look awesome you know how fat is it's kind of luck of the draw you pre-order the same record three times and you could get a different variant of one of these so i don't know exactly if there's a science to it they had a bundle with both the records i'm sure some of these are exclusive to that bundle um but yeah the, some of these variants look really cool there's like these like ones that look like almost like uh, the Milky Way galaxy or something, you know, man, some Aurora, Aurora Borealis going on. Um, but yeah, you want to pre-order these, uh, there's the bundle sold out. Uh, you can still get each standalone release from bottles to the ground. All right. Another cool new release from Hey Pizza Records. They've been putting a lot of good records out this year. Uh, this is the latest Bad Secret, their debut full length album. Uh, it's called Land Over and it's coming out. It actually just came out already uh, last week, I believe. Um, so out now, you can only listen to a few songs online. They want you to buy the record. Uh, it's available on Pink Vinyl. Um, check out a, a few songs from the album on Bandcamp and uh, pre-order the record from Hey Pizza Records. And coming down the home stretch here, Bad Religion. It seems like every single one of these videos, I'm talking about a Bad Religion release. Um, we got more this week, uh, new maps of hell, uh, on red and black color vinyl. And also the descent of man has two new color variants. There's a European exclusive that's on skull gold. That's a new color for me, uh, vinyl. And then another one that's U S exclusive on green and blue. It just looks blue to me. Um, you, I guess you can fool me though. Green and blue colored vinyl. Um, so yeah, Bad Religion. Every single week there's Bad Religion records. Cool, uh, cool announcement. Very good news. Um, in case you missed it, uh, Porterhouse Records, uh, who does, uh, Germs reissues and stuff, um, they had, they reissued Pummel by All a few years ago. Uh, I think seven years ago. In fact, this is the third, seventh, uh, seven year repressing in this video. Um, Pummel by All. They've been trying to do another pressing for a while now, but I guess they were having a really hard time um, getting Interscope Records or whoever to 
agree to the distribution uh, rights or whatever uh, licensing for the album. Uh, but yeah, this has been in like purgatory for the last three or four years, I believe. But they finally got it to press. Um, and it's shipping now. So I pre-ordered pre this like a year ago and I finally got a shipping notification the other day. So mine is in route. It's on green vinyl. Um, so I will update you if and when it arrives. Um, but they still have some copies up for pre-order on their store. It's only $17. So, I mean, that's a no brainer, man. Uh, this is a, an awesome underrated all album. Has one of my favorite all songs, Million Bucks. Uh, 17 bucks, why not? Take a chance. Um, I'll let you know when it shows up, though. It's probably... I've heard very good things about Porterhouse Records reissues, so I have uh, faith that this will be very good. Alrighty, and last but certainly not least, uh, our final new release this week. Not a reissue, but a new release. Uh, Neck Deep. Uh... They have a new album coming out in uh, January, I think the 19th. Uh, so this is the first release I've seen announced for 2024 so far, I believe. Um, yeah, self-titled album. It's coming out in January on Hopeless Records. They've got a bunch of songs streaming now. Um, I'm not really big into these guys, but the songs sounded pretty good, actually. Um, I also really like the cover art. Uh, and they got a, a bunch of really cool looking color variants, uh, including this one was probably my favorite, but they have some other really nice looking ones too. Uh, hit the link in the description, dyingscene.com. Uh, you can find links to buy this record along with every other record I talked about in the video. Um, so hit that link and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for hanging out. Peace.